Hello chess lover. Welcome to the chess classic. Today we will see immortal game played between Adolf Anderson and uh, Lionel Kisaritsky in London 1851. I want to say something about Adolf Anderson. He was uh, undoubtedly one of the strongest players of his era and uh, indeed he was a crown and unofficial world champion after handsome winning the great London tournament of 1851. The game started with e4 then e5. Lionel Rikiseritsky played e5 then f4 played by Anderson and uh, pawn accepted King's Gambit accepted. He takes f4 now bishop to c4 developing this is very fast and now queen to the h4 it seems quite natural to force white to move the his king but the drawback of his check is that black will force to waste his time to moving his queen king to the f1 saying check now b5 this counter game it was named after the american amateur player thomas jefferson brian who was active in the chess circle around Paris and London in the middle of the 19th century. Bishop takes b5. Now knight f6 try to hit this e4 pawn. Now knight f3, queen to the h6. Now d3. After this knight, queen to the h5. Knight h5. Now knight to the h4. Queen to the g5. Knight f5. Now c6 hitting this bishop. Now g4 try to hit this knight. And uh, knight f6. Also here the end pass is not possible because this bishop is pinning the pawn. Knight f6. Now rook g1. And immediately peace sacrifice. The idea is to gain mass of the time drawing the black queen around the board. So c takes b5 now h4 hitting the queen queen to the g6 now h5 again queen to the g5 black is forced to bite the bullet returning the sacrificing of piece with uh, knight takes on h5 it will not uh, give uh, any compensate to the black so queen to the f3 knight to the g8 try to create uh, some space for a queen now black's development is in danger. Now bishop takes f4, try to hit the queen. Now queen to the f6 and once more black chooses the most aggressive option. Knight to the c3, hitting this b2 means queen is hitting this b2 and try to save this b2 as the knight to c3. Now bishop to the c4 and uh, after the c5 hitting this rook. Now knight to the d5, attacking on this queen as well as the c7, leaving this b2 pawn and pass. After that, queen takes this b2 straight away. Then we have a bishop to d6. This move is not so good as engine saws because uh, here queen takes a2. But uh, in the game played, bishop takes g1. After that, e5, closing down the queen's returning move. That's why e5. Now, queen takes a1 check, king to the e2. Now, what about this black king? Black is capturing material, but now what about the black's king? Now knight g7 is coming. Knight to the a6. Try to save this c7 square, but this is not now uh, left because knight takes g7, king to the d8, and now immortal queen sacrifice. Queen f6 check. Knight takes f6, it is a force, and now bishop e7, and it will be a checkmate. Okay, after this game, what do you have learned? Can you tell me? Yes, I have a three 
little bit of point I had chosen. It goes without a saying that Black was punished in the game for his lack of respect over development. Second, in the so-called romantic era of chess, defensive technique was not very well developed and sacrifice tend to be relatively accepted. And the third one, the Brian counter gambit is a very dodgy opening. You can just ask to the Gary Kasparo. Okay, how do you like this game? Say into the comments box and try to share this game. Thanks for watching.